Hello Stitchers and welcome to my Floss Tube channel. My name is Laura with Textily Crafts and I am so excited to finally be able to share our Gingerbread House series with you. I know we've been teasing it on social media and sharing little hints with you about this collaboration, but today is the day that I finally get to show you all of the houses and the designs. So this idea came from Annie of Dirty Annie's and she decided to get a group of us designers together to each create our own gingerbread house. So there were a total of seven designers and there are nine gingerbread houses in the series. So I'm going to go through all the details of those designs with you today and then I'm going to also talk about our finishing piece and at the end we're going to have an awesome giveaway that you don't want to miss. So let's just get right into it and I think we're going to start with the finishing piece so that way you can see what all of your stitch pieces are going to go on. This was designed for this series by Julie of Paisleys and Polka Dots and she creates finishing pieces for cross stitch and other wood decorative things for your home and she designed this beautiful Beautiful piece and I'm going to put a picture here on the screen just so you can see what the piece looks like without any stitching on it. We designed this with all stitchers in mind, meaning whatever fabric count you like to stitch on, your piece should fit on this board. So it is a total of seven and a half inches wide, so you have plenty of room to work with and even add a little bit of backing fabric or trim. So you'll see as I go through these different designers, some of them use 14, some use 16 or 32, and so you'll be able to see the difference on the finishing piece, how much room you are left with for backing fabric and things like that. So when you get your piece from Paisley's and Polka Dots, it comes neatly packaged and it does come unfinished so that you can paint it whatever color matches your decor. Julie gives you amazing instructions for how to paint and glue everything together. And I think Aileen's Tacky Glue is usually recommended to glue all your pieces together once you've painted them. But everything is going to be listed in your little packet here when you get your piece. And it's very easy to do and you only need to buy one finishing piece for the whole series because the idea is to use the magnet and washer method to change out your stitched piece. And if you don't know what that is, you just glue magnets to the back of your finishing board once it's painted and then you glue washers to the back of your stitch piece and that way you can just change them out seasonally and you only need to have one piece. So I will link Paisley's and Polka Dots website below so that you are able to find this if you're interested in the piece and just so you know the paint that we used if you want yours to look like ours we all used the folk art brand rusted pipe for our gingerbread brown and it just made a really pretty brown color, a good base for all of our designs. And the white uh, accent, you just need any brand of matte white paint. Uh, Julie did recommend using spray paint for this part because you don't have to worry about getting into the little intricate places. You can just do a quick coat of spray paint and then you're good to go and you can glue your pieces together. Uh, the Folk Art paint brand is very easy to find at your craft stores or online. It's very inexpensive, so Rested Pipe is the color we used for that. Patterns will officially release on December the 1st of 2024. In the description, I'm going to put links to everyone's, if they have a website, all these designers, or if they have an Etsy shop, you will find their links and their Instagram pages all listed below so that you can go find them if you see a pattern that you like and would like to purchase for this series. So let's get into all the fun details about the patterns. I think I'm going to just give these to you in order of how the holidays kind of appear from the beginning of the year to the end of the year so that you can get an idea of how you will be changing out your pieces seasonally. So the first one, and I'm going to be putting everyone's images up on the screen so that you can see their stitched model. I have mine here, obviously, that I will show you in person and show you my colors, but everyone else's I will be showing you pictures and giving you the details that I have about it. So the first one is a New Year's gingerbread house, which how cute is that because we don't all we don't have a lot of New Year's decor, you know, and a lot of stitching to put up after the Christmas season. So this one will be ready to go that you can put on your little house after Christmas. And this one is from Stay Platinum Stitchery designed by Kayla. And she said she did hers on 14 count Ada using the Rit dye and that she dyed herself and it's a beautiful blue. She used all DMC except for Krynik number eight was used for the fireplace and clock. And she mentioned that elements from New Year's traditions all around the world are included from Germany, Russia, Ireland, and China. So her little piece is just adorable. Next up, we have Dirty Annie's, and this is Annie. Um, she just actually designed two for the series, but this is the first one. This is her Valentine's house, and it is stitched on 28 count Jobelin from Under the Sea Fabrics in the color Anthea. And she used a mix of DMC and Rainbow Gallery threads, and her colors are just beautiful for this. I love all the hearts and it just, I think it will go so well with all of your Valentine's decor. 
This one was finished by Tammy of Leopard and Lace Co. XOXO. She has a channel and she's also on Instagram and she did her adorable finishing. The next one is a Mardi Gras house. That is so such a unique and fun idea. This one is from Carolyn, the Stitch and Kitten Designs. Hers is stitched on 28 count witches brew from Lap and Loops. She used a combination of Gentle Arts, Dinky Dyes, and DMC for her thread. Her house celebrates Mardi Gras with eccentric feathers, color streamers that replicate the iconic beads, and the classic fleur-de-lis. And you can't forget the mischievous black cat straight from New Orleans. And I'm sure you can see that little cute black cat knocking over the vase on her design. Next up, we have December Stitches. And if you don't know, they are two sisters that design cross-stitch patterns. So they each designed one for this series. And the first one is their Lucky Gingerbread House. And it is stitched on 14 count Water Lily by Witchelt. And it uses all DMC colors. And this is another holiday that you may not have a lot of stitching or decor for. So it's going to be so nice to have this to change out on your little house and it is so cute with all the beautiful greens and the little gingerbread leprechaun and all the little things that you think of when you think St. Patrick's Day. Next up we have my house which is the Easter house. So let me show you the details on this one. I had so much fun designing this one and playing with the colors and just all the little elements that make this the little bunny Easter house that it is. And this one is stitched on 32 count desert opalescent fabric. So you can probably see the little bit of sparkle in there. So we left about a half an inch of border around the design for the finishing so that you could really see that sparkle. And there was still room to do fabric and a little bit of Lady Dot's pom-pom trim in the white to kind of play on the, the house and the colors in my pattern. I have little, instead of gumdrops, I have little Easter eggs on the house. And those are easy to make with just a little bit of backstitch. And then we have our spring flowers around the border and we have our little bunnies in the carrot patch with the flowers. And as you can see, the little brown bunny has already been eating one of the carrots. <laughs> so just super cute. And I tried to, I wanted it to still look like a traditional gingerbread house, but just adding in those spring elements and just to kind of make it that, you know, of the fun Easter themed house. So this one is using actually sulky threads. So let me show you the colors. So I personally love uh, one strand of sulky 12 weight cotton petites on the 32 count. I think the coverage is perfect. And so that is what I did for my pattern. The model is stitched with sulky and it uses 10 colors. I know many of you have told me you would love to try the sulky. So this may be a great pattern to do it with because you can buy the individual spools of this on, on different shops online. You don't have to buy like the full sets of this. You just can buy what you need. So um, of course all the colors are on the pattern. And if you don't want to use the sulky, I have a full DMC conversion listed on the chart as well. So these are your DMC colors that if you would prefer to use that, you can. The only thing to note about the DMC is if you're using two strands of DMC, you're going to need two skeins of the color 434, which is your gingerbread brown color. Uh, one skein won't quite be enough, but if you're going to use the sulky, you only need one spool of each. So you can either do DMC or you can do sulky. And so this is the finished Easter gingerbread house. And I want to give a big thank you to my new finisher, Bella Rose Needleworks, Jeanette. She did an amazing job finishing this for me. I sent it to her after I stitched it and she was able to paint and do all of this for me and it is just beautiful. So thank you, Jeanette. All right, next we're moving on. We have December Stitches again. This is from another sister. She designed the American Gingerbread House and this is perfect for your 4th of July decor. And she did hers on 14 count Peaceful Purple by Witchelt using all DMC colors. And this one is adorable with the little American flag and the little gingerbread man with his hat on. And it's just festive and perfect for your patriotic season. Next up, we have World on the String by Dara. She made the Haunted Gingerbread Castle. And she used 18 count fabric that she ice dyed herself using Rit dye. And hers is using all DMC floss. And she said that she used Mill Hill beads to decorate the finished gingerbread house to look like candy. And so hers is just a fun little twist on your gingerbread house with the whole uh, haunted castle theme. Next up, we have Annie again, Dirty Annie's. She designed our Thanksgiving house and she used wet sand from Barefoot Needle Arts for her fabric and all DMC. 
and this is just beautiful with all the fall colors the sunflower and all the elements that you think of for the fall and Thanksgiving season and so that is the Thanksgiving house lastly we have our traditional Christmas house we just couldn't have the series without adding this one in so we got Sarah of Sister Lou Stitches to design this beautiful house and this one is stitched on 16 count tiny snowflakes neutral by fabric flare using DMC and Classic Color Works Gingerbread. Oh, and she finished hers with this cute candy cane striped fabric that really goes well with her design. And it is just the cutest little Christmas house. So that is all nine of the designs in this series. I hope that you enjoy them. It's going to be so fun to have this series that can carry you from throughout the year and that you can change these out and add them to your decor. Let's talk about the giveaway. So I had showed you this earlier and I have it because this is part of the giveaway. So we're going to give away a finishing piece with all nine of the patterns. So you're going to get the whole set. You will have what you need to stitch this whole series. So I am super excited to do this. We wanted to gift you guys something and this is the what we came up with and so one lucky winner on my channel is going to be winning this set and i know december stitches and tammy of leopard and lace co xo xo are also doing a giveaway on their channel as well so hint hint you may want to go over there and check them out but for my channel i'm giving away one set of the patterns with one finishing piece so the rules to enter don't use the word giveaway or prize in your comment and you must be 18 years or older so I can get your address to mail you this stuff and you must be subscribed to the channel and I'm going to link our Instagrams in the description so that you can go follow um, these designers they don't all have floss tubes but they're all on Instagram so you can see their other beautiful work as well and so I ask that you use the word gingerbread in your comment. And so that's just all one word, gingerbread. And I will use the random comment picker to pick one lucky winner for this whole set. And I'm going to do my drawing on Thursday, December the 5th. If you don't know, on my channel, I try to go live most Thursday evenings to stitch and chat and hang out with everyone. So I'm going to do my drawing on December the 5th. At the beginning of that live, I will announce who won. If you can't catch me live, no worries. The video gets posted to my YouTube channel just like a regular floss tube video does. It shows up in the live tab on my channel. So if you miss it, but you enter the drawing, you can always go back and just watch that beginning to see if you were the winner. And so that will be on December 5th that I will pull for them. So get your comments in before that date and I will draw that winner on Thursday evening. In the description bar, what you will find, I will give you the link to the Paisley's and Polka Dots website where you can purchase the finishing piece. I will also link all of the designers if they have a website and or Etsy shop. Some of them sell PDFs, some of them don't, but I'm going to give you all their details. And so if you saw a pattern that you liked, you may want to reach out to the designer directly to see about where you may can get a copy of theirs. And if you have any questions about mine, I'm more than happy to answer that. Uh, just leave me a comment or an email and I will get back with you. So the official release date again for this series will be December the 1st. And on December the 1st, you'll be able to find all of these available for you to purchase. This was so fun. Uh, we all had fun working together to come up with this for you and we hope you love it as much as we do. So have fun stitching this this holiday season and as always happy stitching.